Hey guys, it's time to take a look at the official Android 7.0 NuGet firmware for the Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge. So this firmware is now live on samovil.com website, so you can check that out and you can download it and install on your on your S7. So uh, you can see that it is looking very much like the uh, beta we have seen. So there are like a couple of changes and most importantly, a lot of bugs are fixed. Starting off from the lock screen, you can see that we got two shortcuts. Uh, we got the phone dialer as well as the camera. And you can swipe to unlock or if you have the security, then you can use your finger. Unlocking the phone, you'll see a beautiful uh, home screen motion effect in the background. So I don't know if you can notice it, but when you move your phone like this, it has like a uh, motion effect to the wallpaper. So uh, you can have it or you can turn it off. So it's, uh, that option is available there. Uh, when we take a look at the quick setting area, you can see that we got lots and lots of options here. On the very top, we got the search bar. Now, this is where you can search pretty much anything on your phone, like uh, the applications settings. So, for example, if I uh, type in CAL, uh, this basically tells me that uh, I have this context, it's these applications, and some more things that match that search. So, uh, basically, like I said, you can pretty much search anything uh, with this search bar thing. And also down here, we got all of our quick settings. So we got the Wi-Fi, sound, Bluetooth. So uh, we don't get that arrow anymore. Instead, if you want to expand, expand the option, then you can press on the text. And just like that, you will be able to have more details on that option. So this is the flash. Same thing with the Wi-Fi. You can quickly see all the Wi-Fi networks. Uh, and then we got the power saving mode. And basically this works with every other uh, quick setting. So on the top right, we got the three dots, basically, which gives us the option to edit uh, these, uh, edit as well as the button layout. So we got uh, the button layout for 5x3, 3x3 or 4x3. So basically you can change the rows and columns. And also we have our normal edit button here so that you can remove some uh, things that you don't really need. So you can... Uh, uh, remove as many as you want. You can turn off and on the always on display mode right from here, which is really convenient. We also have blue light filter, which is nice. You can further customize it. And uh, also you get a performance mode, which basically turns the display all the way to quad HD. So by default on NuGet, your Galaxy 7 will have a 1080p HD resolution. So uh, if you wanna go all the way to quad HD, then you have to turn on this high performance mode. Uh, so basically this 1080p uh, default thing will help uh, in, uh, in conserving more batteries one of the best additions uh, to the device the ability to downgrade the resolution uh, on the s7 with the android nougat so going into app drawer you can see it looking very similar again search you got three dots to edit and sort applications you can uh, also change wallpaper and themes widgets and screen grid by holding down the display and you also have this update kind of news feed thing which you can turn off and on also with the android nougat you do get the ability for the split mode so if i quickly open two applications here and when we go back to the multitasking area you can hold on an application and if you swipe all the way to the top it will initiate the uh, split view mode which is something that of course you know the default NuGet brings so you can uh, increase the area for a certain application you can also uh, change the places of the applications you also have this little thing and the arrow uh, and the cross button so cross button will cancel everything but this middle thing will actually initiate the um, the pop-up view so now this application is now like glanced you know so if I click on it it's like uh, in a, in a pop-up view mode so I can open up anything I want and this this thing will remain here so this is what the pop-up view mode is and uh, I mean Samsung has uh added their own feature on top of split view mode, which is really, really good. Taking a look at the camera UI now, it's looking more cleaner. So if we swipe to the left, you got all your effects. Uh, swiping to the right will give you all your features. For example, the auto mode, the pro mode, panorama, and a bunch of different settings here. So when we go here and simply focus and here down here, you got the option to set up the exposure. So and then we have the normal button to capture the photos. Red button is for the video recording and you can also go directly into gallery and which also gives you the option to edit pictures, share and auto adjust or delete right away. So everything is just so fast. And on top, we got the HDR option. We got flash and the main setting where you can set up uh, the picture size, uh, video size, tracking auto focus, lots and lots of options. Quick launch is also there, which is on by default. So. Uh, overall, I mean, the Galaxy S7 with the Android 7.0 NuGet is super fast 
as well as uh, filled with a lot of features. Uh, in the main setting, you got the advanced feature tab where you get all the good things about your device, like all the cool things like the uh, multi-window, uh, palm swipe capture, video enhancer. So everything is there uh, in the display section. There is a specific dedicated option for screen resolution so you can change that as well from full HD to even 720p by further improving the um, the battery life and then also uh, we have uh, other options as well down here and when we go into device maintenance this is a one-stop shop for your Samsung device and this is something that will help your device to become faster because you don't really need to install any application from the Play Store anymore because this is uh, something that is uh, on and on Samsung devices with the 7.0 NuGet by default. So you can uh, basically clear, clear up the useless memory that accumulates with your applications, uh, clear up RAM, device security, performance mode, and also check what the battery status is. So when you click on the optimize now, it basically clears, clears up all the stuff here. So this is gonna make your phone faster, close some application, and uh, you know it's gonna tell you the status off your phone how much uh, it is you know good if it's excellent then it's 100 out of 100 so uh, like I said one stop shop to make your Galaxy phone even faster so I can't wait to test out the speed of this device compared to other uh, uh, other competitors especially the iPhone 7 plus so let me know if you want to see that speed test again and here is the Geekbench 4 benchmark test for the Galaxy S7 running on the official firmware so you got uh, 1906 single core and 5587 multi core so uh, basically this score is like improvement obviously over the beta uh, test that I did so um, and also uh, compared to the to the to the to the marshmallow the single core score is definitely improved so I uh, can't wait to test out the official uh, you know overall performance uh, compared to the competitors uh, so that was my full review of the official firmware of the Samsung Galaxy S7 currently available for the S7 and the S7 Edge live on on their website so uh, if you want to install it then go ahead download the firmware and it's pretty easy use the audit and uh, and I also made a tutorial of how to install it so it's pretty much the same uh, same way to install the official firmware so nothing has changed and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video peace out